हेलो वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मिस्टर संदीप हियर एंड इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ डिस्कशन ऑन पॉन्ड्री टेक्नोलॉजी सो आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू टू द सेशन ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी एंड टुडे इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर एंड दैट इज पॉन्ड्री टेक्नोलॉजी सो वंस अगेन वार्म वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम मिस्टर संदीप हियर so as per our subject introduction session our subject name is manufacturing technology and in this subject we are going to start with the foundry technology that is chapter number 2 as per our gtu syllabus so let us start our subject with foundry technology so here the in the chapter number 2 and that is the foundry technology so foundry technology is also known as a casting processes so it is also known as a casting technology so here i am going to discuss the concept of casting or say concept of foundry technology right so let us start discussion on concept of casting so we all are familiar with the three types of matter and that is solid liquid and gas right so all the three matters solid liquid and gas among these three matters or these three things liquid has no its own shape what do you mean by liquid liquid means it can flow anywhere or it can take the shape of according to the vessel because it has no its own shape in whichever vessel you feel the liquid your liquid or fluid will take the shape accordingly right it means if you feel the water in the vessel it will take the shape according to the shape of vessel because liquid or water or say fluid has no its own shape right so in this concept or say in this chapter first of all what is the basic the liquid has no its own shape right so let us start discussion on the concept of casting so here i mention the ice formation so if someone has a question in your mind why i am explaining all these things so here i have a simple and fantastic example for you right so if you feel the water in the glass and if you allow it to freeze down what happens your water will be converted in the ice right and your ice shape will be according to your vessel shape right so here once again i have a very interesting question for you what happens if you can convert the metal into the liquid metal and then feel that particular liquid metal in any shape what happens just imagine once again i repeat if you can convert your metal into the liquid metal your solid metal into the liquid metal and then you feel that liquid metal in particular shape then what happens after cooling and solidification what happens your metal will take the shape according to your cavity that is the concept of casting and here i am going to discuss this concept and that is the casting process as shown here right so here i mention the casting process so without wasting a single minute let us start a discussion on casting process video so here i mention one fantastic video from which we can have a idea on casting process so let us start this video here as shown in this video what this old man is doing the purpose of this old man is to make the gear with help of casting process because our chapter is on casting right so our chapter is on foundry technology or casting process so here as shown in this video this old man made the cavity first because the purpose is to make the gear right 
so here this old man made the cavity and then he poured the liquid aluminium or he, he filled the liquid aluminium in this cavity so he filled the liquid aluminium in this cavity and after filling this liquid aluminium he allows the liquid aluminium to solidify or cool down right so what happens once again i repeat he made the cavity first he made the cavity first according to gear shape then he poured the or he filled the liquid aluminium in this cavity after that he allow for some time so that the liquid aluminium will be solidified and take the shape of the cavity according to cavity so as per our discussion your liquid will take the shape according to your cavity right so after some times what happens your aluminium will be solidified exactly as per your cavity shape and then what happens your final product will be ready right so here as shown in this video once again i repeat which are the steps involved in casting process your first purpose is to make the cavity according to your product make the liquid metal with help of furnace pour that liquid metal into the cavity and you will be done so your final product is ready according to your cavity and that is the gear so you can see from this video our gear is ready so this is the very fantastic process that is known as a casting process so here for making of gear what is required so our final target is gear and that is ready with help of casting process so what is required you required the cavity or empty space exactly as your product it means you require the gear cavity because your purpose is to make the gear you require the gear cavity for making of gear so what do you require or what is required in casting process so pattern is required so what do you mean by pattern pattern is nothing but gear because with help of the gear or with help of pattern you can create the empty space or cavity because with help of the gear cavity you can make the gear so this is very simple casting process in which your first purpose is to make the cavity with help of pattern then fill your liquid metal after solidification you will be done right so your purpose is pattern is required to make the cavity fill the liquid metal and you will be done so this is all about the casting process so let's discuss the history of casting process that is very important here so as per the report casting is very old process so here i mentioned casting is 6000 years old process so just imagine it is very old process around 6000 years so here i mention one important fact for you so as shown here did you know one important fact about the casting so here i mention the very interesting fact so the oldest existing casting is the casting of frog right so it was estimated around 3000 years before christ so here i mention one amazing fact for the casting so now our purpose is to define the casting process so can you define the casting process now so let's try to define the casting process so let's define the casting process all you have to do is first make the cavity or empty space right that is also known as a mold cavity so first purpose is to make the cavity next what you have to do is after making the cavity you have to make ready your liquid metal that is also known as a molten metal right so your liquid metal is ready here then you have to pour your liquid metal and your final product is ready as shown here this is all about the simple casting process right so here let us define the casting process in very simple words 
it is the process in which your purpose or say you have to feel the liquid metal in the cavity and after solidification your product is ready so it is a process in which you feel the liquid metal and then after solidification your product is ready right so once again i repeat if you want to make the simple product for example if you want to make the product like this all you have to do is create the cavity exactly the same shape as this with help of pattern after that feel the liquid metal in this type of in this type of cavity and after solidification your final product is ready so all you require is the pattern so what is pattern pattern is nothing but replica or image of the product to be produced so here i mention the pattern definition so pattern is nothing but replica or image of the product right so after generating cavity and after making the cavity you can remove your pattern so pattern is nothing but replica or image of the product to be produced right so here if you have a question from which material you can make the pattern so here i mention the different materials so pattern materials are very important here i mention the first that is the wax so you can use the wax or wood or say metal products also so here i first mention the wood different types of woods are available in the market right so with help of different types of wood you can create the pattern right so here i mention the different types of wood like teak wood and so sesame wood and different types of wood mahogany is all, also there so what is the main advantage of the wood i mention the main advantage that is the less in weight so wooden pattern has very less weight right so wood is a very important material and uh, there is no problem of rusting in the wood right that is the main advantage of wood and it is very light and easily available it is very light in weight also right you can go for metal also different types of metal you can use for the pattern so here i mention the advantages for metal also so metal is very strong and durability or life of that metal pattern will be higher than the wooden pattern because it is made of a metal and it is having a higher strength you can use the plastic also so what is the advantage of plastic we are very familiar with the advantage of plastic because plastic is not affected by moisture right it is very light in weight and also cheap in cost so cost criteria is also important you can go for plaster also so you can use the gypsum powder or plaster for the pattern also so various advantages of plasters are mentioned here so you can use the plaster as a pattern material also right so these are the materials for pattern and uh, i explain the brief introduction of the foundry technology that is also known as a casting process right so here i mentioned the ones again a wax material as per my discussion wax is also useful for making of patterns so different types of wax are mentioned here and the main advantage of wax is it is used in investment casting process so we will discuss the later on what is investment casting process but the main advantage that i want to share with you is with help of wax patterns you can achieve the close dimensional accuracies right so if you want the close tolerances you can go for wax material right so with help of wax you can achieve the higher dimensional tolerances right